Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Akia Danielle. If you are new here and if you're returning, thank you for joining me once again. This week, you guys, I decided I wanted to talk about some summer trends that I noticed and I thought they were super cute. And of course, they could be tall girl approved. So I dug through my closet to find some pieces that actually are the trends. The funny thing is, usually with trends, they're just repeats of previous years. They just have like an up to date touch on what's going on at the moment. So some of these trends and pieces are gonna be pieces that have been highlights for previous years. Cause they were so cute, it, they just stuck around. So I'm going to go ahead and show you those trends that I feel like you should be rocking and that you absolutely will love. You might even have them in the closet. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, please stay tuned and continue watching. All right, so the first trend we're gonna get into is the puffy sleeve trend now you can find puffy sleeves on tops and on dresses of course depending on how exaggerated and how girly you want to look puffy sleeve trend is definitely a good summer favorite i personally love the puffy sleeve in the tops as you can see i'm wearing my corset puffy sleeve crop top I got this one from Forever 21 um, last summer, I believe, because corset tops were actually in last summer. So I feel like I got the best of both worlds with this top. Um, so one way that I definitely love wearing this crop top piece um, is with a pair of high-waisted wide leg jeans like the ones I got from Zara uh, last week. So I'm gonna back up so you can see how this looks here, but I'll also put a video here of me in full length so you can see how that looks as well. The other way I definitely like to wear this top is with my midi skirts. Um, with the midi skirts though, I have to have a little flair because I have a inverted triangle body shape. And if you're not familiar with that type of body shape, it's basically when you are wide up top, like the shoulder area, and your body kind of comes down to a narrow um, frame. And then on top of that, I don't have any hips, so I'm just straight up and down. So I have to have like a little flare to kind of play off and balance out the top portion, my bottom portion. The puffy sleeve trend, it's very important for you to pay attention to how big and exaggerated you want the puffs to be, depending on your body frame. Because you can either rock or flop this trend very easily. But if you play your cards right, you can definitely rock it for yourself. Okay, so the next trend I'm gonna get into is just like this top I have on here. This is a knit polo. Um, I've been seeing this as well. I think I've been seeing this trend floating around since last year, but I noticed that it is actually popular for the summer too this year. Actually, last year is actually when I bought this one from Zara, and it was just something about it that stuck out to me before I even realized that it was a trend. I actually do love a polo top and for it to be this light knit material was absolutely like a perfect piece for the summer. This might look like it might be too hot for the summer, but believe me, this is a very thin knit material to the point where it's actually breathable. And I've seen knit polos similar to this one in solid colors and in bright, beautiful colors and also with stripes that are absolutely to die for. For this trend, I actually would just wear with a pair of jeans or a pair of mom shorts, which are also a good piece for the summer. And you can wear this practically with skirts, with shorts, with jeans, anything that comes to mind. Only for the fact that polos are actually a timeless classic piece to have in your closet anyway. So I feel like for the summertime, a knit polo would definitely be perfect for the summer wardrobe and you can wear them over and over again. You can actually let your style speak through the top with colors and designs that you decide that you wanna buy. Okay, so believe it or not, this next trend is gonna be something that you definitely have to use your imagination for. If you've already guessed it, it is a scarf, a printed scarf or a solid color scarf will work too in a pretty color. But the larger the scarf, the better. I've seen so many girls tie a scarf in so many different ways. It's amazing, but I absolutely love it. When I first saw this trend, I've always seen it as tight, like tight as a bandeau, whether it's the bow in the back or the front. And the other way is like how they used to do the tops back in the 90s where it was just an inverted triangle and you would just tie it to the back and that was it. But I've seen so many women style a scarf so many different ways. I'm actually going to show you three ways that I've learned how to do it right here. And maybe later I'll do a video on how I actually managed to style the scarf this way. 
I would say if you're looking for something really fun and really cute, this is definitely a trend that you should try. Okay, so we finally got to the last piece of the video, you guys. I've, I've done mostly tops because tops are usually the easiest pieces for everyone to find, especially for us tall girls. And I feel like you can pretty much rock them in any kind of outfit. So I wanted to make sure that you had plenty of tops to choose from. But now I'm actually going to get into a bottom that I think that we all should have in our closet for the summertime. And that piece is a light, flowy mini skirt. It allows you to dress it up or down for the summertime depending on your style. I like to style this one with a t-shirt just like I have it on here tied and I might throw on some canvas sneakers with it or if I want to go like on a cute little date night with my husband I might even put on like a cami with a little lace just like in this video here to give it that whole little dress up vibe. This piece for the summertime has pretty much been around forever and mini skirts are actually like taking over the scene i feel like for tall women especially mini skirts are the perfect length because we don't have to worry about it being too short and we don't have to worry about that awkward ankle length when it comes to the maxi skirts or maxi dresses during the summertime so if you want all right you guys thank you so much for joining me that is all i have to say this week so i hope that you found some pieces and trends that you actually like you may go out shopping, get you a couple pieces for the rest of the summer because, um, I mean, whatever we have left of it, I'm pretty sure Rona is going to make sure she tries to come in and ruin a little bit of our outings. But if you do decide to go out for a little while, please make sure you wear your mask, stay six feet, and you can always look cute. So just make sure you do your eyes up, make sure you have on your cute outfit, go out for about, what, no more than 30 minutes and get back in the house. I think we all can use some fresh air once in a while. Anyway, thank you again, you guys. If you like this video, please make sure you hit that like button. And if you have not subscribed at the beginning of the video and you decided now that you like this video so much and you like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now, you guys. And make sure you hit that bell too because you'll never know when I'll post up. Until next week, thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Bye.